Bounds. He's in with a tough guy that has a little bit of experience from Brownsville. See how he reacts tonight. He's going to take his time. Very athletic and fast. You need a little bit more than onions in this boxing business. I'm sorry. Got to have, have, huh? have a pedigree. You also got to have a good mind. And I'm trying to get Stevenson to make a mistake. You figure he, he's thinking that Stevenson doesn't have the power. It was a second round TKO that night against Oscar Mendoza. Stevenson landed a short right uppercut and Tapia saying, no, you didn't hurt me. <laughs> Tapia rushed in there with his head, trying to land a right hand on Stevenson. He just grazed him. Stop! You can't just throw him like that. You can't There's Shakur trying to show his strength on Tapia and letting him. So hit the weights a little bit, some of the pull-ups, some of the push-ups. Pull-ups, push-ups, hand weights. I think what he's really waiting on is his, is his man strength, if you will. To say, this is a 20-year-old kid, and I don't think that we should decide that. And he's being rewarded for his knockouts. He's being rewarded for, for being spectacular. And I'm, I'm not sure that, that he really feels like waiting. This is a kid, Kay Karoma, yesterday. Aggressive approach, but they feel confident in taking that speedy route. We will see if that materializes. Obviously, they're going to have to progress very quickly. I'm going to tell you right now, the, the way that Tapia is fighting this fight right now, staying back, trying to outbox Shakur Stevenson, is, to me, is the wrong game plan. Yeah, make him uncomfortable in the ring to have more success. You know, I think we were all taken by this yesterday in the, the fighter meetings. He said, I'm a big fan of Shakur Stevenson. None of us really liked it to hear that. Right, yeah. <laughs> Round three here. Stop, stop, stop. This is a real good opponent like at this stage of development for Shakur Stevens, Timmy. You know, has a little bit more bags, you know, little bit of tricks in the bag. You know, he's not standing there and letting Shakur tee off. He's standing there now, of course. But when he moves in, he moves out, he's giving him different looks. Comes forward, and straight back goes Tapia, and Shakur followed him. He's having a lot of offensive success here in round number three. Good body work connecting on that belt line. Yeah, that's beautiful to see Shakur going down to that body. You know, Shakur is developing really well. I like what I'm seeing, breaking him down slowly and systematically. Double-digit power connects in his third round for Shakur Stevenson. On ESPN, round four scheduled for eight with the undefeated Olympic silver medalist. Look at the CompuBox numbers in round number three. 19 to one connect advantage for Stevenson. I'm not sure Tappy is gonna bring that out of mind. A guy who has a willingness to take that risk will be fighting in our main event. There is Ray Beltran. As he is getting taped up, we will check in on him all night long. Finally, the night for Beltron to call himself a champion. There's a nice lead left hand from Shakur. That's what happens when you just sit up on the ropes. We talked before about Shakur sparring with Lomachenko. Let's also remember he sparred with Terrence Crawford. Coming in straight at Tapia as he leaned off to the right was a sitting target. Johnny Blaze Tapia. Lee Selby's checking in at number six right now on the ESPN.com featherweight rankings. The IBF champ who had a win back on December 9th against Eduardo Ramirez. We're going to see a couple guys uh, in that division. Pretty interesting fighters. Lightweight world champion from Namibia. His most recent world title shot came in 2012, a 15-year pro, so in great shape at 39 years old, and he's looking to claim a belt. You know, coming from the amateurs, coming into the pros, you know, you, you don't really need four shots like that. You can do three, you can do two, two hard ones, then dig down to the body. Does he need a knockout? In terms of the, the, the overall strategy of his career, where it's going, does he need a knockout, Tim? Well, knockouts are always great. And, and, and the fans at home love to see knockouts. 
but he's a young kid. He still haven't grown into his body yet. You know, he's gonna get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and develop punching power. He just sat down on those two body shots right there and got Tapia's attention. And now he splits the guard with a left hand. So, I mean, he has... Oh, good I shot right there coming in. Deep trouble him. here. Excellent work here in round number six from Shakur Stevenson. But more you, work to the body. But did you see, it wasn't, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more of a, it was more of a boom, 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 boom. It was, it was nice place punches. I like the way he buries body and head. Stepping around. He stepped around right there. Did you see that yep. move? That's a, that's a vet move, man. And took the angle to land the right hand to the body. And as Tapia circles to the right, and then he closes the distance to Stevenson. Stevenson's going to realize that when he goes back and watch this fight, if he would have went to the body a little bit more, he could have probably had more of a chance to, to land on Tapia. Disagree, I think he's been going. Well, we began with him saying that uh, this was his version of going all in, that nothing beats a pair of onions. I think what we're seeing right now, especially with the, the with Shakur Stevenson's talent. Another right hand to the body from Stevenson. Three punch combination as well. Now this is longer than he's been in his career. Yeah, and look, the seventh round. Yeah, but look how he, look how he look. He still looks fresh. This kid is so competitive. I mean, when, you, when he's standing across the ring, just got clipped with a big shot though, and he did right. Oh, and another left hook. As Tapia has moments of success here halfway through round number seven. Especially when you're getting in the clinch, you got you can't get too relaxed and get your head out of the middle when you're getting close to getting into a clinch. Stevenson didn't do that. Stevenson is uh, literally and metaphorically the, the baby face. He has not shaved since we last saw him. <laughs> he knows it. That's why you give pause when you ask them about the career ascent and what they project moving forward. I'm not even sure it's the man strength. I think we're seeing tonight. You can see that mouthpiece coming forward there as Tapia backs out in the corner. Just a glancing left hand that was slightly off the mark from Stevenson that time. Shakur grew up in Newark, moved down to Alexandria, Virginia in the course of the past year. His grandfather's played a huge role in his life. Grew up on Muhammad Ali Boulevard, perhaps. He's aware of everything that's going on in the ring. He's calculated, you know, on distance. That is no knockdown there as he slipped and then was pushed down. And moving up in class. Good combination from Stevenson. He takes small steps forward. With a minute to go here in our opening bout as we will have a very good looking welterweight clash coming your way next with the Mean Machine. Fully in the books for Shakur Stevenson to get the night started. We will be seeing plenty of Stevenson throughout this year.